So for example, the phone that I have right now, like yeah. the camera that's recording us right now, yeah. do you believe it came from nothing? Or do you, think, do you believe it came from a maker that possesses the attribute of knowledge, it of will so. and power? It, might, it came from somebody who knew about phones. Absolutely. So, and that person must have knowledge, must have power, must have ability. Yes. Okay. Would you believe that the phone randomly come into existence? Exactly. So the same thing when it comes to the Creator, we believe that every single thing that we see in the universe, the manifestation of the universe, the, the creation, we believe that there's an there's a entity which we call Allah that possesses the attribute of knowledge about power, will and ability. It cannot come from nothing. So that's why when it comes but to evolution, no, but when but it he can still do it through evolution. So through, if I, I'm going to go as far as the sun, yeah, I think if he goes through evolution, yeah, that's the more intelligent way. That's Wait, first, are you a Christian? Step. Are you a Christian? Do you believe in Adam and Eve? I believe that. Well, okay, my sister gave me a study biology. She says there's an Eve, but there's not one Adam. Okay, okay, one second, guys. Yeah. So look, if you believe you're a Christian. And you believe that in, in, Ad, uh, in Adam and Eve, according to your Bible, when you believe in evolution, you know you're contradicting your own religion. And the reason why I'm saying is because, no, wait, wait, let me tell you why, let me tell you why. I'm questioning. That's fine, religion. questioning. So when you question, why don't you question Jesus' divinity? Do you believe Jesus was God? As I said to you before, yeah. I try and make sense of the world. That's fine. So do you, do you think it I makes sense? Make sense? I want you to think about this, yeah? One yeah. of the yeah. I've come to, yeah. And I can't get up and somehow say to you, here's the proof that it's the case. Okay. I believe that Christ is God in human form. Okay, let me tell you something. I can't yeah. prove it. I understand. It's the only thing that putting thoughts yeah. to everything. But what, what we have to speak about, yeah, what, yeah, that what we have to speak about is that every single individual, God has given us reason, yeah? God has given us reason to understand and rationalize the universe that we exist with. So God has also given us reason to understand, like in the Quran it says, Afra la ta'qilun, will you not reason? For example, a God became a baby at the same time. The creator became the creation. Why? Because a creator, he creates. A creation is created. So how can God be created, but be the creator at the same time? Again, you're starting to answer yeah. a lot of questions. Like I would try and teach my rock violin. But do you believe that makes sense? No, hold on. No. It's a bit so like... So why do you believe in it then? It's a bit like me trying to teach my rock violin how to do quadratic equations. No, it's not. It's beyond that. No, it's not. Because it's look, believing in God is not difficult. No, no, believing no, in no. God, you just use a rationale. Yes, do, you believe that, do you believe that God, by definition, is one? Again, you know, it, it's rather... What's the word I want? You know, you have to answer the question, like, think about it from your reason. God has given all of us reason. To, look, for example, let me tell you something, yeah? All of us, we, we have uh, natural inclination, fitra. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that every single individual is born with a natural inclination, with the fitra. It's their parents that either make them a Christian, a Jew, or a fire worshipper. So what that means is, you have natural inclination to understand there cannot be multiple gods. There's only one God, and God cannot become a baby. And how can that same God pray to the Father? How can God pray to another God? Because you're asking me questions, I've got no concept of the answer. But it's a very simple like, question. Just like, like, just like it it's would, God. It would be like asking my rock filer to solve a quadratic equation. Okay, wait one second. She's not up to it. So is this a equation for us to believe in God? Is it, do we need to go to an, a mathematical equation for us no. to believe in God? Or is it natural? No, the way I feel it, people yeah. ask me about Christianity. And I say to him, it's just what I sense is No, 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 no Christianity, we're speaking about God right no, now. No, no, no. We're speaking about God. Like you believe in one God, right? Okay, forget, no, forget one God. Do you believe in God? I believe in, I believe in, uh, how can I put it? I believe in a supreme being. Okay. Well, I'm, well, I'm gonna call did, did you have to do an equation for you to believe no, in a supreme no, being? because as I said to you, as I said to you earlier on, it's not a thing I can pick up and say, look, this yep. proves it. I can't. It's just what I feel. Yeah, but the thing is, for example, as human beings, apart from feelings and emotions to the side, we have rationale. And God has yes. given us that, this reasoning to understand the realities of the world. Well, we Wait, let me, give, let me give you an example. Wait, one second. If we believe that God exists, yeah, we believe, by definition, God is the most just and God is the most wise. Okay? And if God exists, then from his wisdom, from his knowledge, he has to send people amongst us to convey the message. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fair. Like if God exists and he has not given us messengers to believe in the revelation, it wouldn't be fair. But well, let me finish, let me finish. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me finish. Let me finish. So you know in prophets, the way they distinguish themselves from other people is by prophecies, by miracles, by being truthful individuals, such as Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, Moses. They're all rightful messengers. And by definition,
Muslim, we would have to accept their message. So the Quran came, okay, and which was given to the Prophet Muhammad. The Injil, which you guys believe is the Bible, which is not because it's corrupted, but the Injil was revealed to Jesus. And the people to get the salvation had to follow the prophets according to their time. So you know Jesus, even he stated in the Bible, the Father is one. Worship my Lord and your Lord. The only true God is the Father. The Father is greater than I. This is your revelation. It's not picking words out. This thing is, to be fair, right now, you're not even a consistent Christian. You believe in evolution. You're not even sure about your religion, which is understandable. If I was a Christian, I'd probably be like yourself. I can't come to the concept that God, the Almighty, the All Powerful, became a baby and same Christians worship that baby. It doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, there's a lot of things out there in the universe. But Islam makes sense though. It, 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 it's, it's like quantum mechanics. No, no, Islam is not like quantum mechanics. Islam is a religion that could be understood by the, even the layman and even the most knowledgeable. Why? Because it aligns with your natural inclination. Believing in Allah, one Allah, He has no partners, yeah. Yeah, He has no sons, He has no father, He's uncreated, He's been there for all the time. We believe in that God. We, and we single out our worship to one Allah. Yeah, but sorry, yeah? my, 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 my feeling is, if you don't believe in evolution, yeah. so, I'm sorry to say this, but I think you're living a lie. Wait, wait, one second. So if I don't believe that a fish became a human being, that means my life is a lie. Oh, no, I'm not saying you have to believe it, but it's just that so many scientists now say that, that we are a product of evolution. So do you believe in... And wait, wait. I, and, wait, I wait, wait. Turn, and I turn around and say, okay, if, I would love it, I would love it if somebody tomorrow came up and had irrefutable evidence that we come from creation. Okay. I would love it because I tell you why. One moment, one moment. I, I understand. Look, because yeah. it will put all those doubts out of my mind. Okay, wait one second. Firstly, do you believe scientists in regards to their information. Would you believe a scientist without any evidence? Do you actually research what the scientist people have made a claim about? You said to me that your sister, or your daughter, sorry, sister. your sister is a biology graduate, and yeah. you said you take information from them. For example, there's many philosophers that study philosophy, and they believe that God does not exist. Are we going to take the word for it? No. So what we're going to no, say is, look, we're, one at a time. Said, what we're going to say is, look at that, look, that's fine. What we're going to look at is the evidences. When it comes to evolution, even the scientists cannot prove how a fish became a human being, and there's no evidence. It, it wait, 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 one second. Just, fish, let, let me finish. Let, let me give you an example. Even if it's a fish, even if it's an orgasm, whatever you want to call it, there's no evidences for us to come into existence from that ent from that creation. There's no logical sense. As human beings, we have to understand that even though we believe that we are an amazing creation, God has given us a lot of knowledge, power, ability. There must have been a creator behind it. Evolution is not the answer of your, your purpose. What is your? Let me think about this. Yeah. What is your purpose of your existence? What do you believe is your reasons of existing in this world right now? I can't answer that one. I'm turning around. So to you're you. confused. I'm saying to you that certain things. Yeah. I accept. Yeah. I haven't got the answer to. But I, I believe I have I the answer. I, I believe I have the answer, which I can, I can show only, to you. I can only go by. What people have told me and what makes the most sense. Thing is, like, exactly like what you said, what people have told you. So right now I'm talking to you and all that, everything that I'm giving to you makes logical sense. For example, believing in one God, singling out our worship to that one God. And that one God has given us messengers for us to follow, whether that be Jesus, Moses, Muhammad, peace be upon him. And we take the, one, one at a time, we take their information as revelation, okay? For, wait, wait, one second, the revelation. The, you know when Allah speaks to the prophets? What? We, we speak, we listen to them. So what I'm saying to you is... Why haven't we all been made messengers? Okay, one second. We're, then it will be no doubt. Let me tell you why we can't all be messengers. Because for example, if every single person claims to be a messenger, how are we going to differentiate between the liar and the person that's speaking the truth? No, 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 no. We're not, we're all when you say messengers, what do you mean firstly? We'll all tell the truth. No, not everyone doesn't tell the truth. No. No, how does everyone tell the truth? There's many people that worship the devil. Are they, are they no, telling the truth? No, they're not. But God would have made us all messengers. <laughs> no, that doesn't make sense. God made us messengers. God has made us human beings. And he, amongst us, he has chose messengers to convey the message. And he differentiated them. For example, the prophecies. That the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 1400 years ago. Can I finish my the statement, please? And I'll let you respond, no problem. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 1400 years ago, he mentioned a prophecy that there will be a time where the Arabs, the Bedouin Arabs, will be competing against each other to build the highest buildings. And right now, if I were to ask you a question, where's the tallest building? Where is it? It's in, yeah, and, and do you know which country is competing against them? Sa Saudi Arabia. 
So 1400 years ago, when there was no technology, no, no information at all, that prophet predicted this. So we can see many prophecies as old. That's just one. The prophet also said there'll be a time where women will be dressed, but they will be naked at the same time. You know what that means? So like for example, nowadays women will, will still be dressed, but their body will be, sh will be showing and be, be tight clothing, for example. So it's exactly the same thing as someone being naked. So the Prophet 1400 years ago predicted these things. And Islam is a logical religion. So don't you agree that believing in one God makes logical sense? Okay, believing in the messengers makes logical sense. And then believing in the revelation that God has given to them makes sense. Do you agree? No, because I think, Why not? Because I think we could have all been God's messengers. If we are all God messengers, some people would be liars as well. Everyone has a free will. Not to be God's messengers. I mean, you could say that God's messengers have yeah. free will. You could say God's messengers have free will. Think, look, you need to understand if every single person was a messenger, how would we get to the truth? For example, you look. We'd have it. No, one second. As we're all human beings. We all have free will, and God, life is a test for us. I don't know what type of fantasy you're living in that we all can be messengers. No, no. Unfortunately, that's the well, thing is, look, no, we're, we're digressing. We're digressing. I'm asking we're, you we're digressing, that. brother. We're di my, my friend, we're digressing, yeah? What we should be speaking about is the foundations. Look, we're all going to die one day, yeah? In Islam, yes. yeah, we really, everyone's going to die uh, one yes. day. We're all going to be uh, stood before God. And he's going to question us. He's going to ask us, did you follow him according to his revelations or did you follow him according to your desires? We can't follow God no, through our no, desires. No, 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 you're playing with words here. How? I don't believe, I don't believe, why I might, I might disagree with what's in the Bible. It's not a question of what I desire. Yep. It's a question of what I believe in and what makes sense. You know what, can I say, can I, can I clarify? The reason why I said uh, desire is because you stated, I believe, because so many people have told me, I believe in scientists just because they've told me information. How can you verify that information? Why don't you use this? You the same excuse for science why do you have the same doubts for religion when i believe when i tell you about a messenger that was truthful because the prophet muhammad peace be upon him he was sadiq al-amin wait, wait just let me finish please eh? the prophet muhammad was an individual known to be truthful he came with the revelations it makes logical sense he said the same message that jesus moses noah noah was saying peace be upon all of them which is to worship one god to single out your worship to one god to not do idol worship and to follow the messenger so what's different about that Turn this question around. Go for it. What happens, what happens if tomorrow somebody comes up and they show to you all the evidence and it's quite irrefutable, no doubt about it, that the evolutionists have got it right? Does the evolution explain to me my purpose of my existence? Let's say for the sake of argument, yeah? Evolution, there's a, there's a scientist, uh, scientific information about it, even though there'll never be. Does that explain to me the purpose of my existence? Does that explain ah. to me why I came into this world? See, this is what the Anglican Church says. What do you mean? This is what the Anglican Church says. Wait, wait, wait. Is that it? The book of Genesis yeah. is it, it's the purpose of the creation, not the mechanics of it. Wait, 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 one second. Forget the mechanics, forget the purpose. You're confused right now. You don't even know what religion you're believing in. You say you're a Christian, but you do, at the same time you say pick and choose. You say you're a Christian, but you blindly, you blindly follow. For example, if you want to talk about evolution, what is the evidence is that we was once orgasms and we, came, we became fishes, then we became animals. What's your proof of that? Show me the evidence. Okay, what I'm going to say to you, if people came up tomorrow... You're not answering the question. No, no, I will do. You answer my question, then I don't mind you speaking, but you have to answer the question. Your Go on. But I put out your sign, I'm turn it you're giving me a scenario. You're not no, answering no. the question. You're, you're saying the what if. You're asking me to produce proof. I'm asking you to produce proof. That's and illogical. I'm to you, That's illogical. I'm if I'm asking you, you some, for some proof, you can't ask me a question behind that. No, what is your evidence is for evolution? I've asked you a question on the proof and you've ducked out of it. And what I said to you was. I know how I would feel if somebody can show to me tomorrow clear evidence that the creationists have got it right, I would say, yeah, I believe in creation. Yet when I put the same question back to you, what would you do if people can show you clear evidence that the evolutionists have it right? The thing is, yeah, unfortunately, you're, you're not. not out no, no, let me tell you. Unfortunately, you're not using your reason. No, no. Unfortunately, what you're saying, let me, let me tell you what. No, let, let me tell you what I'm saying. No, 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 you have to. 
You have to let me finish. So what? Let me, you have to let me finish. So what I'm saying to you is that you're giving a what if scenario to say to me that what if the scientists come to the conclusion that evolution does exist? Firstly, again, we're using what ifs. Secondly, when I asked you the question to provide evidences for evolution, you could not provide any. You said your sister is a biologist, which does not answer the question. No, so what we're saying to you? No, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish, please. It's like, for example, I'll let you speak. You have to let I me speak as well. How the telephone works. A telephone engineer might explain it to me. Yeah. But above all, that doesn't stop me using the telephone. Okay, you finish now, yeah? Can I speak now, yeah? yeah? So what I'm saying to you is that as Muslims, what we do is we establish objective proof to understand why we are Muslims. Why? Because we believe if one God exists, yeah, then he must create his creation with a purpose. Okay, with an understanding of what they're doing, with a guide as well. Because it wouldn't be fair, if God is just, it wouldn't be fair to leave his creation without any purpose, without any guidance. So what we say is, is that we believe in one God. Yeah. We don't worship any other uh, entity beside God. Because he's that one entity, okay? And we believe that God is infinite, okay? And he always existed. We believe that God has given revelation. He has given the Quran, which is the final revelation of God. So we believe in his information. Your evidences of believing in scientists, it doesn't logically make sense with you as well. You know, logically speaking, it does, it does not make sense. sense. It does well, make exactly. Sense. Thank you very much. It We're agreeing. Sense. We're agreeing. It makes sense to believe in what scientists No, tell us. just because. It's like when okay, okay. Scientists tell me to go and get a COVID. Jack. Okay, well. I go and get a COVID. Jack. Okay, okay. So if scientists tell me that I'm inferior and I should shoot out my arm, should I believe in the scientists? If they tell me to cut my arm. Well, scientists haven't told you that. So, so do you blindly follow scientists then? No. I follow what makes sense. No, you blindly follow science because you said we follow them, you follow what they tell you to follow. Just because they're scientists. Why would you follow a scientist in, in the matters of the unknown? The scientists cannot explain to you why God exists. Scientists have their own. Do you know what? You, wait, wait, wait. Do you, you know the scientific experiment? COVID. Wait, wait. You had your COVID jab. No. Why not? I don't need to get a COVID jab. Why don't you need to get a COVID jab? Stop you dying of COVID. No, that's where, is that even evidence? Where's the evidence for that? The scientists at one point because, they were saying, wait, wait, wait. Because let me, they go in, you ask me, you ask me a question. No, no. I, you've asked I me a speak question, to, where's the evidence? Go on, go on, that? go on, speak about COVID right before. They went into a hospital ward. Okay. Where people were dying of COVID. Okay. And the doctor there said, Look, I'm going to give you the evidence. Yeah. 29 of them haven't been. Been and the one person got killed because he's not vaccinated, yeah? yeah? Okay, wait one second. Let, let me tell you something, yeah. When it comes to the even the COVID jab, yeah, even the scientific experiments, at one point they were saying that once once you if you have the uh, the vaccine, then the COVID will not spread. But that was proven to be a lie. COVID still was spreading even if you're vaccinated. So we can see the scientists, whatever yeah, no no wait, scientists cause the wait one last time. Scientists, when they have like an experiment, many of the times they have their own agenda as well. For example, the, the scientist's agenda to, to not uh, accept God, to follow your desires. We, look, for example, let me tell you why. In the, Quran, in the Quran, it says, do not take your desires as your Lord. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're following scientists, even though you have no evidences, that like you've never uh, uh, assessed the evidences of the scientists. You're no, saying I've you're going to follow them you. just because you I've, want to. I've just told you about What's that, the evidence? I've just told you about that COVID. That's a COVID. I'm talking about the existence of God. Can the, yeah. sci can, wait, wait, the scientific experiment, can you explain what the scientific experiment, uh, experiment is, please? Because you know a lot, a lot about science and you believe in it. I'm sure you know the scientific experiment, I don't right? Know the science. Then how can you believe in science if you don't even know your own foundations of science? You're blindly following it, my friend. It's like I go to the doctor. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Excuse me. He asked you one simple question. What proof do you got of evolution? Can't you answer that question without tip dance and going to science? Answer the question. What evidence do I have of creation? You haven't got evidence, have you? Yes or no? Have you got evidence of evolution? Yes or no? It's only by what people yes have no? studied it have told me. Forget other people. You have to answer you. the question. No, no, I need to because it doesn't... He's not answering the question, so my friend. So you're not answering the question. So you're tap dancing. You're going on to scientists. You're going on to this and that. You don't know. Do you, so know, yeah, yeah, do you yeah. know how a telephone works? Can you, I'll you answer. still this use it. it. This yeah. is it. Yeah. No. You say you answer. Yeah. I will answer if you answer. If you don't answer, or at least say I don't know, I haven't got no evidence. So it's not putting discussion. You said that I don't have conclusive evidence. So he's got no evidence yeah. of evolution, yet yeah. he believes in evolution. Because Blind faith. This me. man's got his evidence. Blind faith. He's got his evidence of his faith. He's got his evidence yeah. of being a Muslim. He's got it in one book. Yeah, have you read it? Yes, I have. You've read it I've from read the Bible. You've read no, have you read the Quran? So you can't comment on the Quran. This man's yeah. read it, he practices it, he lives it, there he's got go. his evidence, that's why he believes that. Yeah. You talking a lot of crap about evolution and then you tell us... It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. 
no, no, fine. Like, that look, look he, what he said, yeah, even though he said it quite harshly, I totally agree with him. Why? Because he hasn't said, well, respect, said it no, no, harshly. No, no, no. He hasn't said it in any way that no, makes sense. Yeah, look, you're old man. No, no, one, one, one time. You know, look, you're older than me, so you know, as a Muslim, we respect our elders. That's the reason why I gave you a lot of opportunities to clarify yourself. What I realized from this conversation is, because we're going to conclude, is that you're very stubborn. You believe in scientists without any evidences. You believe in a concept without any evidences. And even your own religion, you, you pick and choose. You know, believing in one God makes the most logical sense. And let me, no, I'm going to conclude. I'm going to conclude. No, I'm going to conclude. I'm going to say to you one second. Yes, you're going to conclude. I'm going to conclude. I'll let you speak. Conclude like the same way as you say about the Quran. This is it. No, no, no. This is the answer. I'm telling you. I'm no, no. I'm going to conclude. I'm going to conclude because I'm going to walk away from you. That's fine. No problem. That's fine. No problem, mate. Hopefully, may Allah guide all of us. May Allah guide all of us. You know, it was quite stubborn, uncle, to be honest. I try to be very like gentle with him. Hundred percent. If he don't answer, then say what? Hundred percent. He's got to have the respect. So I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't mean he's wrong or right. At least I don't know. That's it. I gave him a lot opportunity to clarify himself and he's an old man so I was very gentle with him otherwise if he was a younger person I know he's playing circles but you know old people sometimes it's very hard to change their opinion one Forget personal age. experience of mine Forget now to be honest I've, for my subjective experiences elder people they're very stuck in their ways and it's hard to convince them but doesn't mean that they cannot be convinced Allah he's the, he want, he's the one that opens it for everyone I'm gonna just take the mics off here Israel is not a place a nation of people, a nation of people that scattered 400 years.